Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov. So I have this new plugin called Cypress Data Session because I had to create data again and again and I wanted to cache data and have it restored when necessary to avoid recreating it for every test or rerunning the same test. Now it was inspired by Cypress Session, that's why the name Cypress Data Session was supposed to last you the session. But now it actually grew into separate, standalone, very useful utility. I'm using it all the time nowadays. And unfortunately, Cypress refused to list it on its list of plugins. Uh, the names is too close to Cy Session. They asked me to rename it. I don't want to rename it anything. So let's look back at our chat application and let's see how we can actually implement Cy Session using Cy Data Session but much better with better ergonomics and better usability. All right, so before each test, I want to create a new user. I'm creating a random username so it doesn't clash with previously created user and I'm giving it a password and then I want to be logged in. So how can we do this? So we'll start Sci data session and we'll give it a name, let's say user, okay? Now we need something for setup. Right, that's what happens when you don't have anything previously created or the user is invalid, right? We'll have a setup function while we run normal Cypress commands. We also will have validate function that will get a current user and will tell us if a user is still valid or if it has to be recreated. And another thing that we'll do, but we'll get to that later. So what do we have to set up, right? Well, you know, we have to get to the uh, account form, All right? Let's see how it goes, all right? So we have our account, notice we are still on a page, we are not logged in, we wanna actually create the account. To create an account, we have to grab the registration form and enter username and password. So we can do it right, okay? Now, notice right here that because our validate function is empty, it returns undefined, so we're always recomputing the user, which is what we want to right now. Okay, but now we are much closer. We are creating a user, right? We are logging in. So after we create a user, we get to the login screen. So we have to log in. And it's pretty much the same thing as before, only instead of our register form will have login form and instead of create button it will be login so let's see perfect we are logged in we create a user and we're logged in so let's do the next thing let's verify that we are on the right page before we do anything else we want to be on the rooms perfect so how do are we logged in well we have to look at our application right we see the connect uh, session ID cookie. So this is what actually tells us that we are logged in. This is what determines. The session cookie is passed with each request and the back invalidates it. And it's associated with this particular user we created. So the user is authenticated. So here's what we can do. We can get that cookie and we'll make sure that it's not null, right? So that we are using the right cookie. And then we have the cookie. Now, at this point, our setup is done. We are on this page, we are logged in, we have user information, and we have a cookie. So this is what we will return from the setup function. The cookie and the username, right? Because the username was dynamic, right? I, I want it to be available everywhere. Perfect. So we end up on this page, we are logged in, we have a cookie, we have username. Now, let's validate. So we have a user. So how do we know that this user is still valid? Well we can ask the database, right? Is this user still, right? Maybe the users were cleared by some. So we'll say username, right? So whatever is returned by the setup will be saved in our data session. So this will be this object. So we can say user, uh, I think uh, saved is a little bit better name, right? Just for our purpose. So we have to find it and then we'll convert it to boolean. So if it returns undefined or null, we'll return from our validate false. Now, here's what you know, we are at. We have a user already, right? And it's still valid. It's in a not database. So now 
we need to be logged in. And this is different from this login, all right? So how will we log in immediately? We need to set the cookies, okay? So this is where recreate method comes in. It has the same save parameter so after validation. It's the same object. We'll say sci set cookie, all right? And here we'll use the same name, connect session ID, saved cookie value. Whatever we got right here and saved, that's what we have to save, uh, set in our browser. And what we do next, right after we set, well, we want to visit rooms, right? We want to end up on the same page as we've done during the setup. So recreate allows us, if a user is still valid, if we still have a cookie, to run a couple of Cypress commands to get to the same endpoint. So when you are here, you don't care if you just run the setup or if you run, uh, you know, validate and recreate. Perfect. All right, every time we run the test, we immediately go to that page. And just to confirm, we want to confirm that this name, whatever, glyphs365 is displayed. So we'll say contains user info. And now we need to actually get the username. And we actually yielded the username from the setup. That means it was saved and it's automatically set as an alias inside the test. And we're using function syntax. So whatever we set in previous hooks is available under this. This uh, user username, right? This is the name user for the session and the username is a property inside of it. Okay, perfect. Let's zoom in and confirm, right? And if you want to recreate the session, we'll just do hard reset the whole browser the uh, memory session is gone, so it recreates a new user, 441 gets it. We run just the test, we immediately are there, logged in with a user. And just last uh, kind of demo, we can save that session inside persistent storage in our plugin by adding uh, another option, share across specs true. In this case, this user that we create is gonna be used in the plugin, and so now, if we do a soft reset, we run the test, the user is still valid, we're logged in. And if we do the hard reset, still logged in, and we can close the browser, open the browser, immediately logged in. Perfect. Much better than size session.